Hey, what's happening? I'm here with my daughter Ariana. Today is Easter and we're walking on Deerfield Beach. So I just want to wish everyone a happy Easter. And uh, also thank you for all of the outpouring of love and support uh, this morning. As you may have seen, we were in a horrendous car crash on the way to the airport to bring her to her rescheduled flight that was canceled yesterday. We booked yeah. another one today. And uh, just as it would happen, dark, we're, we're, it's 5.30. When we woke up, we left at 5.45. We're driving to West Palm on 95 North, just past Linton. And uh, we're actually having a conversation about how driving is one of the most dangerous things that we as humans do and having a great chat in the morning. And all of a sudden, like we're driving 65 miles an hour on the, on the highway. I see somebody waving like crazy over here. I'm like, and in my mind, I'm like, what the heck is that guy doing? Boom! Never in a second, like, he didn't have his flashers on. He had no lights on. What had happened is, what we come to find out afterwards, and I'll fill you in some other details, he had rear-ended somebody on the highway probably 20 minutes prior, and his front fender was, was buckled in, and his airbags went off. And instead of, and apparently that car that he rear-ended kept going and wasn't there, Instead of pulling off the road, he left his truck three lanes in on 95 North with no lights, with no hazards, in dark, complete darkness. Had the hazards been on, we would have seen something that got our attention. Hey, what's that coming up? And got out of the way. Uh, but instead, pitch black, don't see anything. There's a parked car in the third lane on the highway going 65 miles an hour. And some maniac, I'm in my mind like, what the heck is that guy doing? Boom! Never even saw the vehicle in front of us. Fortunately, she saw it for a second. She's, she's, I heard her say something, Daddy. And I, and, I, and, and I was still trying to piece together. It was like a second. Like, what's that guy doing? Boom! And uh, we slid, we spun around. After we hit it, we spun. So now we're facing against traffic. And I'm thinking, so it finally connected. Like, okay, those, that person, that crazy person waving his arms, and I saw another person up right next to him. They must have been in whatever we hit. My daughter's okay, I'm okay. Um, and now we're facing the opposite way in, the, in 95. And I tell her, we gotta get out of the car. Uh, because I'm thinking someone who out won't see us, just like we didn't see whatever we hit, is gonna be coming uh, at a rapid rate. But right after that, a police car was there like instantly. And my daughter just pieced it together. She's like, he was probably there because that person who we hit had called in that he rear-ended somebody and instead of pulling off the daggum road like a normal human being would have left the daggum truck in the middle of the highway with no blinkers on no lights on and walked to the side so we're piecing it together we couldn't see the back of the truck until our headlights were shining on it and that was in like 0.1 second. Like, right, right. As soon. and I didn't see it at all I was looking it, I just glanced away, like what's that person doing boom and that quickly, that's how life can change. Now, we're, we're piecing this all together. Obviously, here it is Easter, and I, I have a, a, a belief in a higher power, a belief in God. And it's all interesting how the architect of the universe has things unfold in a way where I just told Ariana this joke. If you want to tell God your plans, or no, if you want to make God laugh, tell her your plans. Right? Hey, we had plans to have Ariana fly out yesterday. She was on the plane. I, I was there in the, in the terminal. I left. Juan and I went to the Hard Rock uh, comedy show last night. We get a call at the comedy show like, uh, Daddy, they canceled the flight. <laughs> All right. So after the, fortunately, Hard Rock's not too far from Fort Lauderdale. We went over, picked her up, brought her back home. And now we had this flight. And we were planning on having her get on this flight. And boom, we crash. <laughs> and boom, we crash. Um, and so here's the thing. Like, even, even we piece this all together. Like, even if I saw that crazy person waving his arms and I, I quickly hit my brakes and pull over, I'd have been like, dude, you got to get your truck. Boom! Someone would have hit that thing. It was pitch black, no lights. And it, even if I would like, dude, you got to get your truck off the road in a split second, someone else would have hit them. And the police officer said that thankfully we had that larger SUV. Uh, otherwise, it would have been a much more tragic situation. And so all the scenarios play out to where we're just super thankful that we're able here to be alive, to have no injuries. Um, and you know what? If we had to have that to save some other person or family having a tragedy occur, if a car would have hit that, I mean, literally, if I had to pull over and like, dude, 
why is your truck out there? You got to get it off the road. Boom! Someone's, it's inevitable. Someone was going to hit that sucker. Walk back this way. Maybe it would have, uh, the police officer would have been there to, to block, you know, have the lights going and whatnot. But the way that it was when we got there, holy cow, unbelievable. So anyhow, that's what happened. And the funny thing is I've been having a chat with Ariana. It was supposed to happen. How do I know that? Because it happened. <laughs> so it happened and now we'll do what I learned in the Marine Corps. We improvise, we adapt, we overcome. So we got a third flight going out in a couple hours. Yeah. Fingers crossed, <laughs> praying <laughs> all goes well. <laughs> so thank you for all the outpouring of love. It's nice to still be here. It's nice to have no injuries right. and the journey continues. So man, in a split second, life can change. And, and I, I, Ariana also brought up we were having a conversation right prior to that about what? We were saying like how like car accidents are like one of the most like common deaths in the world and like the most dangerous thing we can do as yeah, humans. Most dangerous. Right. So we were having that conversation about how you know you have to remain uh, focused and you can't be distracted. And lo and behold, a mental reminder: don't even be, if if someone's waving on the side of the road don't wonder hey what are they doing as soon as you see something like that boom eyes back what's going on and and uh take your foot off the gas and, and watch for the break ah oh, anyhow thankful to still be here uh someone made a, a post uh, a comment saying uh you know psychologically it takes a lot to process and get through all this and i agree like we're still processing this and who knows like it's it's eye-opening it's life-changing it's uh, things happening that weren't planned and we'll, we'll get through it and all is well but the most important thing is cars, vehicles, things are replaceable we aren't, the bodies aren't Like so we're super grateful and thankful that A, no one else was in that vehicle uh, B, we weren't injured and C, all the other stuff is replaceable like, like life goes on uh, now it's just a matter of decompressing <laughs> right. so we're going to get her to the airport here shortly she'll have a few hours to fly to atlanta and then atlanta up to rochester and then i'll i'll have some time to decompress down here and uh get ready for this upcoming week so man god is good <laughs> sometimes uh the plans unfold in a manner that aren't what we had in in uh, uh as, as our goals or, or plans that we thought were gonna, the way it was gonna unfold, it's a different path, but keep on taking one step at a time. So, whew, hug those that you, you have near you, make some calls, reach out to some people you haven't talked to in a while. And the journey continues, my friends. Make today great. Any words of wisdom, Ariana? No. <laughs> Nothing to add? No. All right, have an awesome day chat with you soon. Thanks for all the, the love and uh, remain vigilant out there. Make today great. Bye for now.